Perspective is important when looking for the sundews because some of them are so small that you'll walk right past them until you get some practice in looking for them and then it becomes easy. This was one of the tougher of the carnivorous plants for my son and I to find, but he finally succeeded. We're here in a ditch, which is a, a transition between a wet pine savanna and Pocosin vegetation to my right. And this is a great place, a ditch like this, to find sundews uh, in the genus Drosera. We have a number of different species of sundews in the region. They tend to be, in my experience, more widely distributed than a lot of the other carnivorous species. Uh, I even have some sundews in my backyard. And in the forest, they're widespread, easy to find, very attractive because of the consistent sort of cherry red color that you get from those leaves that are growing in a rosette, wheel-like fashion. When you look closely at the small sundew leaves, you'll see that they're covered with these little short hairs known as trichomes that have a little bead of moisture at the end. This is actually a material that functions as an anesthetic. So if an insect crawls onto that leaf or lands on that leaf, comes in contact with that anesthetic and that helps to subdue and slow down the insect. And at the same time that's happening, other hairs will curve or bend towards the insect, further enmeshing it on the leaf surface. Thank you.